The building begins. We'll tell you what improvements to expect from the new Gothel's Bridge and what's in it for thousands of New Yorkers. Scholarships for success. How high schoolers can attend SUNY or CUNY schools tuition free. Plus a superhero smash. What makes The Amazing Spider-Man 2 a hit and unique to New York State. This is the State of New York, May 9, 2014. The biggest production in state history, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, grossed more than $90 million domestically in its opening weekend at the box office. The movie was filmed entirely in New York, generated tens of millions of dollars in economic activity, and spent more than $150 million on local services. Construction has begun on a cable-stayed bridge to replace the Gothels Bridge, which connects Staten Island with Elizabeth, New Jersey. The new bridge creates more than 2,200 construction jobs and will include additional wide travel lanes and 12-foot shoulders that will ease congestion for millions of people. In this week's jobs report, the state reached a purchase agreement with the City of Buffalo for the future home of the high-tech manufacturing innovation hub at Riverbend. The Anchor Hub facility for high-tech and green energy businesses will create 850 permanent jobs and at least 500 construction jobs. In Watertown, the $65 million Mercy Hospital redevelopment project has begun, creating 400 new jobs and more than 650 construction jobs. The building will provide housing for Fort Drum personnel. NBC Universal's Sprout, the first 24-hour preschool network, is moving from Pennsylvania to 30 Rockefeller Plaza in Manhattan, creating 50 full-time network jobs and 20 production jobs. Lieutenant Governor Bob Duffy announced that he will not seek re-election this year. Duffy, who also served the public as a police chief and a mayor, was the first lieutenant governor from Rochester since 1858. Governor Cuomo issued a statement publicly thanking Duffy for his unparalleled commitment to improving the lives of those around him and his dedication to New Yorkers from every corner of the state. The governor launched a new scholarship program to encourage high schoolers to build a future in New York. The New York State Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics Incentive Program provides a full SUNY or CUNY tuition scholarship to the top 10% of students in every state high school if they major in the STEM field and work in a STEM job within New York State for five years after graduation. The program was first announced in the Governor's State of the State Address in January. All corners of the state headed outdoors on Saturday, May 3rd for the third annual I Love My Park Day, when thousands of volunteers embark on improvement, cleanup, and beautification projects at state parks. More than 80 events were held across New York. The names of 20 fallen police officers lost this past year were added to the police officers' memorial at a remembrance ceremony at Albany's Empire State Plaza. Those names join the 1,340 other officers representing 140 agencies. We thank and remember the legacy of all officers who made the ultimate sacrifice to protect the lives of New Yorkers. Don't forget, all of these stories and more can be found at governor.ny.gov. Until next week, that's the State of New York.